where did you first see graffiti and, and uh, how did you get involved? Uh, first saw graffiti, probably the two first places that I recall seeing graffiti. Um, one, uh, I grew up outside the city, New York City, and I would take the train into the city to run around as a kid. Um, and it was along the train lines in and out of the city. I'd look out the window of the train and it would be all along the, the, the underneath the bridges and everywhere, you know, along the train lines in and out of the city. Second place I specifically remember seeing graffiti was as a kid, uh, for a bunch of years, my father had tickets to the Mets game, baseball team, the Mets in New York. He had season tickets to the game, so we'd have to drive from where I lived through the Bronx into Queens to uh, get to the, get to Shea Stadium. Uh, so uh, as we were driving, I'd see it on handball courts in the schoolyards as we passed. So those are the first two places I distinctly remember seeing it as a kid. Uh, how did I get into it, or how did I start doing it? Um, just kind of running around as a kid. Um, uh, I was in skateboarding, um, going to uh, punk rock hardcore shows in, in New York City as a kid. Um, uh, just running around the city, you know, somebody would inevitably have a magic marker and I was like, okay, I want to write my name too. And it started off, you know, innocently enough as that. And for a bunch of years, it was like, okay, yeah, if somebody has a magic marker, I write my name. And eventually I decided, um, you know what, let me really start to make a push with this. The more I started finding out about the culture and realizing it just wasn't a bunch of random names. There are people going out and doing it time and time again they're more prolific or up more or more famous or more seen than the other people and I was like oh okay it isn't just random person writing their name once it's um, multiple times and uh, I decided that you know I wanted to do that and also the interest in painting you know when at that age um, there was the interest in, you know, you, you, I, I, I was always been artistic, always drawing since I was a child. But, uh, you know, when you, you get to high school, you know, 16, you, you don't want to do the high school mm. art class, you know, here, you know, here's a pad of paper, here's some charcoal, draw this still life, and there's like a bowl of oranges and bananas, and it's just like, what, you know? But, you know, when you sneaking uh, over a fence underneath a bridge with spray paint to write your name really big, it's that's a lot more exciting. So, um, I, you know, I was already a creative person, so I was interested in the art, but also the adventure. Uh, for a lot of years, I was very, very New York-centrified, very... W where I came from in the graffiti that I was looking at had a history, had a rules, had a lineage. And I, that's what I learned. And those are the people who brought me up and showed me, you know, like, these are the rules. This is what's important. This is what uh, you should pay attention to. And this is how it should be done. So within those guidelines, I wanted to be the best I could. And I, pushed myself really hard. About 96, I ended up going to school in San Francisco for a while. I was out there from 96 to 99. Now most of my graffiti up to that point was very New York centrified. Even when I went to San Francisco, what I brought out there when I went out there and was painting out there was New York centrified. I was still working off of the blueprint of given to me of New York City graffiti. Now once I got out to San Francisco, at that time it was a very uh, eclectic mixture of 
graffiti people out there. You had a lot of kids coming up from LA. You had um, one or two of us that were out there from New York City. Um, some people from Baltimore and DC. You had the locals, the locals that were doing it, and a few other people passing through from here or there. But with being in that, uh, you know, that stew, that melting pot. I saw a lot of people doing different things, you know, using using characters instead of names, um, using uh, uh, alternative means to do their graffiti, not just spray paint, but they were using like house paint, um, bucket paint, and painting things large that way. Uh, it, the, the people at that point, there were, there were some people out there that were slowly starting to cross over into a gallery world. Um, and that's that really kind of opened up my mind, taking myself out of where I was, you know, like this about things, to being like, oh wait, that's kind of neat. Oh, that's kind of neat. And oh, you can go there and do that with this, you know. And um, that's that's kind of planted the seed in my head that things can be done with this.